Now, timely feedback, right? Feedback right when you're making a mistake and getting fixed is important, you know, whenever. Almost all the time it can be helpful. But the one time when it actually could cause some problems for you and be not as helpful is right at the beginning, phase one, during that curiosity and excitement part. Right when you're just trying something out and it's kind of fun, you you feel like you're discovering it for yourself because maybe I'm kicking the ball. Wow, I just figured out how to aim it. Whatever, if you're trying to learn to play soccer, for instance, uh, that can be a time where it's really important to learn for yourself a little bit and kind of have some discoveries and feel like, wow, I figured out how to do this thing. That's exciting and it leads you to want to do more and then get to this phase of uh, commitment where you're going to practice hard on your own. Now, before then, though, can you imagine, hey, I'm just learning how to do this thing, and suddenly someone's like, hey, no, you're kicking that ball wrong. Hey, come here. No, you're standing wrong. No, you need to use your foot like this. Like, if someone just jumps in and starts giving you all this corrective feedback right at the beginning when you're just like, hey, I'm just trying to kick the ball. I don't know what I'm doing. I'm just playing around. It actually can ruin it and make you feel like, oh, well, you know, these people are experts. I'm not going to get good at this and quit. Versus just letting someone have that freedom to play around, experience it, and feel good for themselves can actually lead to them committing later on. So the one time when giving too much feedback right off the bat, that can actually hurt people and make them feel not so great and develop a fixed mindset like they don't know what they're doing, even though they're just exploring and discovering. So that's the time when you might want to hold your feedback and just let somebody have fun with it.